I wanted to begin by asking you, as a filmmaker, did you have any reservations about taking on such an iconic film, making a remake of, of such a really classic movie? Well, I was humbled by it. You know, when they came to me and brought up the idea, I thought about how much I love the original. Uh, I know Brian De Palma, I respect him tremendously, and I called him up and I said, how do you feel that they're remaking, you know, that they're reimagining this and how do you feel about me doing it? And humbly speaking, he was incredibly supportive and that meant the world to me because I respect other directors. So that was important to have the, that be my first entry in. Um, and then the second thing was I went back to the book and I was reminded of how brilliant it was um, and how great Carrie White is, this, you know, misfit who just wants love and acceptance like we all want, her extraordinary relationship with her mother who has basically created her own religion, who's repressed, who's a shut-in, who loves her daughter but fights with her daughter. And when I came back in contact with the novel and fell back in love with it, of course I understood the weight of the responsibility of how great it was, but it only excited me more to say, you know what, this is great, and if I just roll up my sleeves and do the best job I can do, there's a real shot that I could make a really entertaining movie. Uh, you said you talked to Brian De Palma. I'm curious if he gave you any advice, and also if you talked to Stephen King. I haven't talked to Stephen okay. King. Um, hopefully I will. Uh, Brian didn't necessarily give me advice on how to make the movie, mm -hmm. but we definitely talked about different scenes that we loved and different approaches to it, and it was... Uh, I mean, I love talking to other directors. It's, it's, a, it's a big secret that directors don't actually have a lot of time to talk to other directors because we're usually on our own sets. So whenever we get together, it's like we get really, really techy. You know what I mean? Like, how did you do this and how did you do that? So it's, it was very fun talking to him. Well, talking about scenes, the prom scene. Yeah. I mean, how do you approach, because I mean, it's such an iconic scene in film history from the original movie, what Brian did. How did you sort of approach that and put in what fans want to see, but at the same time make it new and, and fresh and original? Well, it was a couple of things. One is, because I was so in love with Carrie, played by Chloe, and I knew that you needed to deeply identify with her, I created that as our starting point. So you need to be so inside her shoes and so inside her wish to get love and acceptance that if she's marching towards prom, you're thinking, that's a mistake because Sue should have apologized and shouldn't have sent Tommy your way. But at the same time, you so love her and you so want her to have that experience that you fall in love with the Cinderella dream. So that was the first part. The second part is this movie is a suspense thriller. So I needed to be laying down the groundwork so that while you were hoping that she was gonna go to prom and be successful, you were also knowing that Chris was getting more and more pissed off that Carrie was essentially getting the support of other people. She was getting the support of her teacher, she was getting the support of Sue, in some ways she was getting the support of Chris's dad who said turn over the phone. So in the background, you've got this other thing that's rising up and you're, you're knowing, kind of like the Titanic, something bad is gonna happen and you want it to happen, which is a really complicated relationship to your protagonist, right. that you want things to go badly because you also know she's got this superpower that you've been tracking and that you think is really cool and she's been trying things and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, and then you want that thing to pop. The other thing I had to lay in there was the story of right and wrong. This is a story of justice and revenge. So you want her to succeed, you wanted her to fail, and then you wanted her to use those powers against the people that had done her wrong. Because I think we all love a sense of right and wrong. We all want the bad people to get their due. And I knew the movie was, was working when people were seeing it and saying, I love the prom, and I love when she gets back to people who hurt her. And that was, you know, that's a tightrope that you're walking, and that was what we were aiming for. Yeah, uh, you pulled it off great. Oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah, really fun movie. Great. Thank you so much. It was great. a pleasure talking Thank to you. you. Thank you.